Hey Cats Friend, welcome back to my channel, bringing you the best tips, tricks, and tutorials to make Hound Fun affordable. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the fastest way to build a balloon garland for your next home event. This is the fastest way to build the garland because you're not using anything extra. You're not using any glue dots, you're not using a balloon strip, you're not using um, low temperature hot glue. You're just, you're not even using 260s, you're just tying the necks of the balloons together. So I'm not gonna go over the sizes that I'm using. That'll be in the description. It's really about the color scheme today. It's even though, you know, I like colors. It's more about um, the technique. So I'm going to blow this up and at the end, I'll give you bonus tips. So let's get started.
that, whew, that was a race against time right there. <laughs> um, so let's see, what was I supposed to do? Okay, so some tips moving forward. If you guys are learning how to do balloon garlands, trying to get into the business, things like that, or you're just a mom like myself that just loves to create awesome parties, then I think knowing how quickly it could be done so that way you're not stressed out or so you're not stressed out but then also so you block out the right amount of time so i would just whatever time it took in this whatever time i post in the description will be um your baseline and then i would just double that to give yourself adequate amount of time one of the things one of the things I do want you guys to keep in mind is um, make sure your workspace is ready to go. So that's gonna take time too. That's not something that I timed, but I had to find all my colors. I had to make sure I had three sizes of everything. And I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, and I also had to make sure that um, I, I counted out my balloons, but I also added in a few extras just in case one popped or one blew away like it did <laughs> in the video. I don't know if you guys saw that, but you just want to make sure you're giving yourself adequate amount of time. That's why a lot of times balloon artists will blow up balloons ahead of time and keep them in a cool place. But if you don't have that luxury since you're having a home event and maybe you're using your garage or a spare room, you may just have the day of your event to blow up balloons. So you wanna give yourself at least, at the minimum, at least an hour just dedicated to blowing up balloons, tying them together, and hanging them. Another thing you wanna keep in mind is blowing up balloons in warm weather, also in a warm room. So even if there's heat in the room and the air is hot in the room, that is, if you're using an electric blower like mine, then that is the air that is going into the balloon. So that's the difference between using an air-filled balloon and using a helium balloon is you, it, your machine, your inflating machine is taking in the air from the room. So if there's hot air, hot air makes balloons expand quicker and then um, you might be prone to popping, especially if you're going to do those balloon fill those balloons and then place them outside again they're under the heat at that point and then they're going to pop a lot quicker another tip i would say is let me look at my notes um another tip i would say is um don't put too much pressure on yourself it's a, if it if you're having a home event or you're doing an event at the park and you're just trying basically you're watching this video for the purpose of just doing it quick and easy, you're not trying to have some grandiose um, garland or arch or anything like that. Um, don't put too much pressure on yourself. It's it's not, It's it takes a lot of practice. Balloon professionals and balloon artists have practice and they practice and they practice. I mean, I mess with balloons every week. So <laughs> you're, you may not be like that and you may not have the um, time or financial investment to do that. So you are going to make mistakes. Balloons are going to pop. You may over inflate them, things like that. So this video is for you who are learning. You want to make your home events better and you want to bring a little extra to your events without breaking the bank, then that's why I make having fun affordable. <laughs> so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. I have a few ideas floating around, but um, I always love to hear suggestions. Uh, that's how I came up with uh, my balloon shine videos because it was suggested by in one of the comments that I saw on my video. So I don't know. I mean, um, I'm here for it. So whatever you guys want to see, let me know and stay crafty and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.